I'm uh, Simon Wormsley from WWF. Uh, today's deliberations on the GHG issues here at IMO MEPC, Marine Environmental Protection Committee. Uh, today, uh, it was a classic case of balancing the IMO mantra, which is no more, no more favourable treatment, against the, uh, the UNF triple CC uh, mantra, which, which is common but differentiated responsibility. So, what actually happened was that there was a debate around what what should be prioritised in terms of the GHG, the, uh, the greenhouse gas issue. And the committee decided that it would be this three-step process, which involves gathering data, uh, analysing data, and then thinking about doing something, basically. So that, that's what the committee decided, what, what, what its priority was going to be. Uh, and it will be a mandatory data collection system. So there was a lot of discussion around how to do that. Then in the afternoon, the actual greenhouse gas emission agenda item came came on board and there was a lot of discussion about UNFCCC. Then there was a standoff between the large developing countries such as Brazil, uh, Saudi Arabia, India, China and the Cook Islands funnily enough. Uh, they, they didn't want a working group which dealt with the GHG issue. They just wanted to concentrate on this three-step process because in their logic you have to do all this before you start discussing cap, emission caps etc etc. So there was a standoff and an argument about whether there should be a working group at the next meeting. Uh, so what actually happened in the end was uh, a lot of discussion, uh, a lot of what I call diplomatic abuse, and a lot of back and forth, uh, and a, a, a lot of consensus building, as, as you, they would try and say in diplomatic terms. And eventually what happened, they reached a compromise over this working group. Uh, so the working group will be mooted at the next MEPC 70 and then the plenary in the MEPC the decision making body will decide whether or not to have that, that working group but for me the whole discussion shows a lack of commitment and uh, that they're at a stage of collecting data which means that they're going to take a long long time to do anything basically I, I may be cynical but I think uh, even getting the mandatory data collecting system will take a long, long time because there's many different interests, uh, many different ways of doing this, making that a standardised instrument will be really, really difficult. So I, I think there's a long, a long drag ahead before we actually get anywhere near things like emission targets, even if we ever get near things like emission targets.